Okay, a note on some of the electrics in the boat. This is sort of a, an appliance in the electrical center area here. That's mount for TV. Got a little stick-on antenna to go to the window. Um, this is the uh, inverter. I think it's 2,000 watt, uh, 4,000 peak. And so you can run some basic devices. It's not pure sine wave, but it'll run some devices. Uh, I mentioned before we have the solar panel off to here. It comes in through here. This is the solar charge controller. Uh, this is ammeter, voltmeter uh, that I've put in. Also, it's an energy totalizer. It gives you a voltage, current, power, and the energy anyhow. I think that's watt hours. And I've got up here, I've got, uh, there is a charger up here, which I can plug in to indirectly to go back and charge the batteries if we're at shore and they need a charge. Uh, of course, the inverter. And we have AM, FM, and CD, and some speakers mounted uh, over there. Yeah. So that's interesting there. We have, anyhow, microwave. Behind that is a power bar. The power bar is plugged into shore power, but if I need to, it can be plugged up into the inverter. So that's that. This is just storage right here. I never took this out. This originally was a clothes hanger bar for this area. I thought it might be useful, so I just haven't taken it out. I may just cut it out though. We've got down here a 12 volt fridge. The 12 volt fridge is plugged in. It's this thing right here, so I can plug into plugs. Here, let's I actually have a light there. So you can plug it into there. Or if you're working on shore power, you can plug it into this because this is attached up here to a, a transformer. So it's suitable to run the fridge. Okay, so everything anyhow comes in here from the solar panel and also from the batteries, which right now I only have one solar battery. Solar batteries behind the fridge. And it's kind of hard to see there, but there's a battery box. There's room for a second one above it. So I'll probably end up getting another solar battery. The other battery, there's a number two, or two gauge cable that runs here and I've got some plastic conduit and the other battery is actually down in under here. Uh, later I'll have this table out and I can show that. Um, I already mentioned there is wiring up in the roof. We have a light here for inside, dimmable lights, views. We've got some side lights that go on with the floods. I've got a front spotlight, the, the side lights go on at the same time. We've got navigation light out the rear. Uh, we've got a couple of navigation lights up front. We've got an anchor light right here. Anchor lights up there. Um, yeah, and that's of course the solar. Um, we're wired here for um, shore power. And that all runs under here and through that conduit there. And boom, 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 boom. And that I will fix later. Okay, and basically, well, it's hard to see. But we end up going to an outside cord. And you can see that cord out there is plugged into a power bar. So that's, that's short power. I also have a brake in this cord here. This is really interesting to watch, eh? Okay, there we are. It's an extension cord, basically, that I've cut, but I can then use that, and I can plug in, basically, I can plug in to the inverter, into the inverter system. So, that's how that's thought out. I'm mixing up here the, the shore power and the, uh, and the 12 volt power, but, uh, We'll go back to 12 volt power. We've got lights, both sides here. We've got lights. We've got the little, these are kind of neat. Oops. Yeah, we've got those on both sides. Um, the 12 volt power center. Oh, well, the other is the, the real power center, the solar center you saw back there, solar and battery power, but this is just a fuse box. And it looks like the rat's nest, but it is organized and it's a lot better than what was there. And it's all, I ended up going with a fuse system. I did buy breaker system, 
but it just didn't I didn't have the flexibility and this allows me and basically I'm maxed out on that uh, I've got 10 10 fuse circuits plus I've got the pump is going to have its own fuse I have to uh, that's back in the head um, we do have a 12 volt system we've got things we've got nav lights and which light up that compass and we got new hardware for the boat there's just proof it works okay and if you could see at the back you would see the uh, trailing white light um, this is spotlight there is actually no it's I lie that is not the spotlight that's the anchor light which let's just see if it's actually illuminating yep it is anchor lights illuminating and the spotlight yeah, there we are, spotlight, and there are two side lights, which, which I don't know if you're going to see them that brightly. Oh, yeah, you can see them back there, eh? So, I'm showing you endless detail. This is really to help me to document the, the boat. Right here, we've got, uh, you can hear the bilge pump. Bilge pump has a float. It also has this circuit for manual bilge. Um, here I'd like to keep tabs on what voltage is. You can see this battery hasn't been in the sun. I haven't put a charger on it for a month or so, but uh, I got voltage. So let's say USB, let's, uh, that'll be for GPS and so on. I've got all these cigarette lighter outlets and more USB. Yeah, so that is it for, um, that is it for electrical. Oh, there is a windshield wiper. The blade is on and wiper arm are on order. That's brand new. The old one was questionable. So let's get new. Yeah.